Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the greatest horror game of the year, Alaska, also known colloquially as Alaska. Let us begin. This game looks incredible. This game looks amazing, and I guarantee y'all are going to have an absolutely incredible experience participating in this journey with us. Let's begin with a cutscene. That timing was actually pretty good. That text is horrible. Monday. Okay. All right, so the text not off to a good start, but I'm here for the story, bro. Uh, oh, do I have to get up? I think I heard the mail plane landing. I better go get the mail. I better go get the mail. That text is horrible. Look at that shit in the bottom right, or the bottom left. Objective card, map card. The fuck? Okay. What's the objective card? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Why my fingers look like that, bro? <laughs> Press the action button. Wait, what is that? What's the action button? Oh! Oh, must have been that. How did I put that away? Oh, there we go. Are they overlapping music right now? I remember stepping outside that day. It was beautiful. Yes, it was. I mean, look at the graphics, Bo. Immaculate. <laughs> Listen to me. You've never... I could see Mason in the distance. This was the first time in weeks it was me going to get the mail, rather than anyone else. First time since she left me. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so we're starting off with the divorce story. Y'all already knew it was true. I don't know what that guy's doing, but I low-key think I might need to call the doctor. <gasps> Why his ha Why his arm's doing that? Uh-oh. this Mason, button. how are you this morning? I couldn't be better, Blake. <gasps> this morning really does have that essence of greatness to it, doesn't it? That crisp air, that gorgeous sun. Days like this always remind me why I moved out here. Perfect. And how are you, my boy? I'm getting by. <laughs> I know it's hard, Blake. Please stop. I remember when my dear Ava left me. It took me months to get back to the happy man I am. Just keep your head high, your spirit strong, and everything will be all right. Okay? Why don't you spend time with your neighbors? <laughs> I know mine helped me. Thanks for your kind words, Mason. I'll keep them in mind. I've got to give everyone their mail now anyway, so I might as well go see how everyone's doing. Thank you. Anytime, my friend. Just keep moving. We only die when we stop moving. That's crazy, bro. Okay, so we're going to Miss Anna Riggs' house, apparently, is the is the first stop on our agenda. I guess I'm the mail guy. Um, so her house must be... Well, that's my house. So then her house must be this one right here. <gasps> right, okay, so yeah, this is absolutely, no doubt about it, ladies and gentlemen, a game of the year candidate, okay? Because... I mean, honest to God, for the rest of the quality of the game, the voice acting is shocking. I was a little because... nervous about seeing the rigs, only because they are my closest and dearest friends. I had been blocking them and everyone else out of my life for weeks prior to that day. I hope they weren't upset with me. Oh, right, 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 right. Hello? Press the action button. I think I did. I don't know what the action... Oh, it's click. It's click. Z, I know you locked in. Stop locking. Well, look who we have here. Every Monday for weeks, you've been leaving our mail on the porch and not knocking to say hello like you normally do. It's very difficult explaining where someone is to a six-year-old, you know, especially when they only live 10 steps away. Sorry, Anna. It's more like 14 steps, though, which makes all the difference. It's okay. We were just happy to know you're still alive. You've had us all worrying. Come in to see Marcus and Jada. Bro. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck was that hair, dude, bro? That hair looked like it could stop a bullet. Did you see the texture on that shit, bro? Did you see the texture on... Uh-oh. What's Baldy McGee about to be saying to me? But well, hold on. Let's let's start with the kid first. Let's conversate. Blake! Why have you been hiding from They got from the same me? hair, dude. Now, why would I do a thing like that? Hide from my favorite person. I was looking for you, too, you know. We just must not have crossed paths while we were looking. Okay, I guess that just about makes sense. You're forgiven. Is there anything in the mail for me? Only for Mommy and Daddy, I'm afraid. Aw, no fair. Don't worry, I'll make sure there is something in the mail for you next Monday. 
Okay? Promise? Promise. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, Bo. Okay, so they really, like, on God for series, the developer of this game really went to the mama, took her hair, resized it, and put it on that little bitch right there. Bo, dead ass. Bo, they got the exact same haircut. No variation, not a lick. Okay. All right. I don't know what this guy's about to say, but I guarantee you about to be dumb as hell. Wait a second. How are you, old friend? Have you been getting the fish I've been leaving on your front porch? <laughs> yes, I have. Thank you. A little dangerous with all the bears and wolves out there, but <laughs> thank you all the less. <laughs> well, I had to make sure you were alive somehow, didn't I? I loudly placed the fish on your porch, hid in some bushes, and watched you scramble outside to retrieve it before the wildlife did. <laughs> <laughs> I really do appreciate it, Marcus. I know I haven't been around lately. Didn't want to pass my misery to anyone, you know? Ah, nonsense. That's why we're here. This community always sticks together, no matter what. We're always here for you, Blake. All of us. Thank you. You know what? I've got a great idea. I'm about to go to the river and get the daily catch. Why don't you come with me? We can wash all your worries away downstream. How about it? Hmm, that sounds like a great yeah! idea. Perfect. I'll go get the boat and beers ready, and you just join me when you can. See you in a bit. Okay, now I know you all saw what I was just doing right there. That's what we call a black angler. Let me say it again. Okay? Boom! Fish! In my shit! Okay? Say less, bro. Uh, wait. Alaska save sections will not allow you to save and quit in certain sections, and if you're a certain task, key moments. Yeah, right, 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 right. Sunset was almost upon us. That time of year, daylight didn't last long. Okay, so where am I going? Am I going fishing? I am going fishing. I'm going to the river. Uh, but I'm supposed to go to the bridge. Okay, so wait, that's their house, so I need to come out here and keep going straight. Yeah, yeah, okay, this map is a little bit jank, but you know what? It'll work. Oh, not the stamina bar, fuck. Okay, but the voice acting, surprisingly good. Like, uh, I'm not even, like, I'm not even saying that just to be, like, kind of troll. Like, I'm dead ass. The voice acting's actually pretty good. It's just the character models with the voice acting, highly Highly suspicious. <laughs> but listen, that might just be me drinking the haterade. I was looking forward to fishing on the river with Marcus. We used to do it a lot. See, like the main voice actor, this guy needs to be in the cinema. I'm on series, bro. Okay. So I guess we pulling up to the lake now. Let's get this fish game on. Where's my man's at? Hey, yo! I'm here to do a little fish, fish, fish and kish. Where is he? Is he in the water? No, he's got the bridge circled. Yeah, okay, so where's he at? Is he actually down there? Oh, he's over there. Fuck! Okay, well, they shouldn't have circled the bridge, goddammit. I Let's can go. see Marcus setting up the boat up ahead. It was calming to see that nothing had changed in my absence. I don't really know about going night fishing, gang. This seems a little suspicious. Like, we about to both drown, bro. Wait. I do not want to be on the I water. I usually row the boat upstream a little, just around the river bend. That's where I always find the big ones. So honestly, Blake, just us two men out here, how are you really feeling, my friend? In all honesty, I feel a little lost. Like, the world is passing me by, but I don't have what it takes to jump back on it anymore. That's a crazy Nothing road to me. her, anyway. <sighs> Come on, Blake. There's more to life than women. Easy for you to say. You have Anna and your lovely daughter. Hey, I understand. But I didn't always have them in my life. True. Look, I know it's hard now, but it'll get easier. You'll see. A few months down the line, you won't even remember why you were upset. What was the real reason she left anyway? She just couldn't handle the life out here. Not everyone can. Everyone's different, I guess. Some of us want this life. Living off the fat of the land, fishing down rivers, creating your own heat from trees we've cut down, all while constantly surrounded by scenic views. Perfect. Some, though. They don't understand that. I'm guessing she went back to California? Of course. The Golden State. <laughs> Very different from our state motto. The Last Frontier. Very different lifestyles indeed. It's no wonder she fled back. Why didn't you go back with her? She didn't want me to. It was just over. We'd been rocky for months prior. It would have only been a wasted effort. I understand. Right. Enough about the past. It's time to find what the future has in store for our stomachs. Grab the rod there, and we'll start. That's a crazy road technique my man got going on there. Okay, let me get, let me get, oh 
no. To cast the line, press E. Reeling in, pressing Q. A bobber that detects the bite is attached when the bobber is red. No bite when it's green. Bite. Press Q when the bobber turns green. Understood. Or I did not expect to be fish a bro. Okay, so... Oh, damn. Okay, I know you also have that technique. Oh, look at that little motherfucker right there. Wait. Wait, 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 oh, 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 not green, not green, don't pull, got it, bring that motherfucker in now, look at that chubby motherfucker right there, no, get it, okay, back out we go, okay, so y'all see me, I got a mean fish game, oh, I got a mean fish game, wait, 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 wait. now, oh, that motherfucker, but I know they're kidding, Oh, I was pre with my shit. Oh, that little bitch. Oh, that little bitch was testing me. Well, I don't. They better end this game right now. I better not have to cast that out again. Oh, f I got that one by total luck, gang. They're, they're, they're not kidding about this shit. I mean. Wait, we're not blinking. Now. I, now. Got it, bro. Okay, I, I can just spam it. I can cheese it. I can cheese the game. Okay. Let me get this. Not gonna lie, Blake. I was worried we weren't gonna catch anything just then. <laughs> I think you need to get out more. It's been too long since you came out with me and Betty. Betty? Yeah. I decided to name the boat. It gave her more of a character. Oh, so I was like, like who the fuck is that? Long days out on the river. Hmm. I think it may be you that needs to get out more, Marcus. Why? <sighs> so right. I'll race you back to the house. Your fish is in the boat. Grab it and we'll go. Damn, bro, he built like the, 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 what the, what the, what the, what the fuck is that guy from, um, Ghostbusters, that big marshmallow man? <laughs> but this guy built like a tank on guard. But look at those thighs, the arms, the forearms. That shit's bonkers the clown. Action button. Okay, let me take them. Huh? He's. Bastard. That son of a bitch. Okay, 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 okay. There's no way. He could outrun me, gang. Let's get real. Okay, first of all, there's no way a man with thighs like that could be that fast. Okay, it's too much muscle. It's too much muscle. You get gas, bro. I'm 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 lean. I'm a lean, mean, sprinting machine on God. Let me go see. Let me go see. Let me go see. I'm for serious. What's he doing? I was on the way to drop the fish off to the Riggs household when I saw Anna looking very thoughtful into the well. Looking very thoughtful into the well. Okay. What's she thoughtfully looking at? What she thought oh, we were good. Looking at. You're back. Did you catch any good ones for us? That oh, but crazy. of course. Good. I'll cook them for dinner later. But right now we've got other issues. There's no water going to the well. Could you go to the water tower for us? Just to see why no water is coming through? Marcus has gone for his after fishing nap, so he's no use to us. As you're cooking the dinner, of course I will. Thank you, Blake. What? That's absolutely not how a well works, not even at all. Okay, wells do not connect to water towers. That's the point of a well. Anyway. Um, okay, so water tower. Where is it? Bish, that thing's in Narnia. Wait, so it's past the airstrip. Oh my god. Okay, so I need, I need, I need like a, a, a four-wheeler or something. Wait a minute, they got me going out here after dark? Wait, they got me going out here. The tower was often breaking down. Sometimes the heating mechanics fail, leaving the water to freeze. Definitely a man's job to repair. Mm, well, listen, it's 2023. I don't know if I can really co-sign on all that, okay? <gasps> don't these motherfuckers know? You can't be saying that anymore. Come on now. The first strange incident occurred. I saw a man running. Running from me. Hey, you! I hey. chased him towards the hey. water Wait, this motherfucker is not- Oh, God! Oh, God! Holy shit. <laughs> a herd of deer ran in front of me, blocking my way for a moment. This moment was long enough for the man to fade from view. Holy shit, gang. Holy shit, gang. <laughs> that is not funny, gang. Holy shit, bro. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, bro. That shit's not funny at all. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, bitch. 
Holy shit. Because it, it, it went from like nothing scary at all to that shit. Wow. Holy. When I finally arrived at the water tower, the man was nowhere to be seen. Well, okay, so what the fuck am I doing? I'm supposed to be fucking doing some shit with it. I must be, I'm, I'm going to the building? Oh, no, here. Upon inspection of the tower, though, it appeared that the system had been tampered with. The wheel that controlled the water pressure was missing. I had to find it. Let me start with the hatchet, bro. Let me go ahead and start with the hatchet, okay? Because there's somebody out here. And that's going to be a problem. Oh, I got to use it to chop down the shit. Okay, here we go. Okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Why is it in I here? I found the wheel in the old shack near the tower. I grabbed it and went to put it back in its correct place. Okay. Where's where's where, where's that bitch that was running at, boy? I feel like I'm gonna have myself a problem, right? Or no? I got the water flowing again as darkness had crawled over the sky. It was time to see how Anna was getting on at the well. Oh, up. Yo! Look at them nighttime graphics! Now, wait a minute. How did they design the sky to look so fire? But the rest of the game looks so suspicious. <laughs> but look at the northern lights. This is pretty high on my agenda of shit to see in my lifetime. This shit's sick. Bro, I don't, I don't understand how they could have, like, literally the sky is, like, maybe 12 out of 10. And the rest of the game is, like, a rather suspicious 2 out of 10. You think it's Google Image? But look, it, it, it like, it moves good. It moves good. Like it, like, it looks like it's actually there. And it looks like that fucking, whatever that thing is, that Aurora, whatever the fuck I'm a, is close. I've always enjoyed nighttime in Alaska, especially away from any major towns or cities. That way you don't have any light pollution ruining your view of the stars. And that Aurora, I never get over how beautiful it is. Wait. Well done, Blake. It's working. Go inside. Dinner's almost ready. I thought she was fucking dead, gang. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my wife left. Come on now, girl. Shoo. Wait a minute now. My, 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 my wife left. Girl, what you doing there? What you at? Where you at? Where you working, bro? On God. On God. Full series. This is like the start of a porno, bro. This is like you walk in. Okay, this is like you walk in. Like you just, you just getting home. And, and, and somebody's like stuck in like the well with they cheeks out, Bo. All in all, it was a good first day back into the real world. That's literally the start of a porno. That's literally the start of a porno. Where? Oh, okay, we going in. Wednesday. Wait, did we skip a day? Do we skip a day? Uh, I wonder what Mason has for Silka today. For who? Silka. Is that somebody to deliver mail to? What is he talking about? That must be somebody who delivers mail, right? Why is the door opening like that? Did the door open like that before? I feel like it didn't, but whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll get out here. We'll get we'll get we'll get another mail run. I could see Mason waiting in the distance as usual. This time with a box. Oh, a delivery. So we must live in like one of those like remote Alaskan villages that like you can only get in and out by airstrip, right? That's clearly what we got going on. Look at him, Bo. This guy looked demented. Why his arms like that? Blake, big one today, my friend. It has to go to Shane Clark. I think he's been expecting it. So expect him to meet you down the west path. How are you getting on, though? Getting better, Mason. I took your advice. I'm spending more time with everyone. I told you the neighbors help. They'll keep your days busy. Right? I've got to fly today, I'm afraid. Got so much mail to deliver. I hope you have a great day. I will have a great day, Bo. Yeah, the lip movement is definitely I remember yum. Shane's box was heavy. I couldn't stop thinking about what could be in it. None of my business, Bo. I'm the mail boy. Come on now. Yeah, the lip movement is definitely um pretty suspicious. Where Shane live? Oh, on the other side. Oh shit, that bitch living goddamn Narnia. Don't I got a snowmobile or something? Bo, I feel like I need to have like a snow machine or something. 
I don't know. Okay, I guess I guess we'll just make our way over there. I'm certain that we're not going to be traversing. The Sega Genesis. I bet Shane's a gamer. Did I open his box? Wait. Wait, wait. Did I open his box? What, what the fuck am I talking about? Sega Genesis. Oh, my man's just taking off. Later, boss man. You have a great day now. Hold up. Where are you going? There he goes, bro. Off to the mountainside to deliver some more mail. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought there was about a 92% likelihood that plane blew up. <laughs> a box full of Game Boys? Maybe he's opening a shop for Game Boys. I don't know how well that would do here. There's only 11 people in this town. 10. I must remember that she's gone now. Damn, but we got we kinda we kinda we kinda traumatized ourselves with that little factoid, aren't we? <clears throat> okay, right. Wait. We uh we also not playing the smartest character ever to live. Oh, there goes my friend out there, but he going for a little fishing trip. Okay, after after you saw me putting the work in on those fucking a uh Sony C D player with included microphone? Maybe Shane has the most beautiful singing voice the world has yet to hear. <laughs> or not. Bro, am I just conversating with myself? What's going on here, bro? What's, 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 what's going on here, bro? I don't know. Sega Genesis, what year are we in? For serious. Does this guy live across the bridge? Okay, I just followed the bridge trail the whole way. Okay, bet. Now, at any moment now, some shit's going to start to happen, bro. Because it's been a minute since we got jump scared nasty, and I guarantee you, they're scheming on our demise already. Why are you in here so late? He mentions Dollhouse with included Belle the Ballerina Girl. Hey, I don't know what weird thing Shane's into. So am, am I just like fabricating things that could potentially be inside the box? Or like, I'm not really, what's what's going on? I don't really understand what the fuck we're talking about. Oh, there's homeboy right there. Okay, perfect. Now I hope they're not gonna make a habit of having me run back and forth across the map. Okay, cause that shit's a little cringe. Listen, I'm a big fan of the game, but don't make me get too much exercise. Come on now. Hey, yo, got your package. Yes, it finally arrived. I've been waiting weeks for this to arrive. <laughs> what is it? Ah, wait, wait. I have to go plug it in first. Meet me back here in 20 minutes. I will have it all set up for us to try it out. How have you been, by the way? Haven't seen you in a few weeks. Getting better. Sorry I've been hiding. Just needed some time alone. I understand. <laughs> we all moved out here to get away, to be alone. So trust me, I understand. I should think Myra wants to see you. Go to the house to see her and I'll meet you here in 20. Myra was a lovely woman, but had always been quite forward with her feelings for me, even though we were both married. This was the first time I was seeing her since my wife had left. I wondered how she was going to treat me now. Shoo! Now wait a minute out! Is, wait, is Myra that guy's wife or no? Oh, there's, there's a whole nother uh, conglomerate of houses out here. Which one's her house? Oh, okay, this... Oh yeah, Myra Clark. Yeah, okay. I thought at first when he said that, that it... Holy shit, what the fuck? Is that her up there in that window? Am I bugging? What's she wearing, bro? Is that a cat suit? What's she wearing? Wait a minute. Let me go check this shit out now. <laughs> Wait a minute, now. let me go check this shit out now. I remembered it was quite dark in their house that day. No lights were on, and no lights were turning on. It was eerie. Myra? Myra? What's she doing? Hey, yo, Myra, what's good, yo? What, what's what's pop with you? I thought it was you talking to Shane out there. I was hoping you'd come in. How are you? How's life treating you without your wife? I bet you're lonely over there, no? I bet you need... company? Uh, no, I don't tend to get lonely. Well, if you ever do, I wouldn't mind being the person who kept you company, Blake. Shane's always out there playing with his toys. I have plenty of time to share. Uh, okay, Myra, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Talking of his toys, I see his new toy has arrived. Well, he is going to have a hard time plugging it in. It would appear the electricity is down. You wouldn't do me a favor, would you? The generator's at the back of the house. I think it needs a strong man like you to get it working again. Of course. I'll go have a look at it now. Thanks, Blake. I'll wait up here for you for when you're finished. Make sure you come back up. Now, wait a minute. Would you say that generator in the back needs a 
Deathstroke? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, wait. Wait a minute. Wait. So. So. Interesting. The generator was at the back of the house, but I couldn't remember another time that generator had ever faulted them before. Uh huh. Is this a setup, bro? Now, apparently, it seems a little suspicious that he mentioned that the generator has never given them issues before. Huh? Lipstick? Myra, I, I better not go back up there. I'll see how Shane is getting on with his new toy. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, where is Shane at? Okay, Shane's out there. <clears throat> Click! <laughs> She ain't here, gang. That's cuckoo crazy, bro. That's cuckoo crazy, bro. <laughs> they don't even let you do it no way, no how. <gasps> but I was trying to see the graphics on that little session right there. Now, damn, bro. I was trying to see the graphy. Y'all, but remember, we on kick. We can do whatever we want, gang. Come on now. Oh wow! So she just disappeared, bro. They don't even let you do it. They didn't even let you do it. Is that, that's gonna get that's gonna get me in trouble later, huh? I mean, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. But I'm just saying. What's my man doing, bro? Are those? Oh, I thought those were Wait. what? Are... Ready for it? Ta-da! My new toy. This will save me so much time chopping trees. Wait, where did your axe go? Oh, I uh, I lost it. Hmm. <laughs> right. Wait. Let's cut down a tree. Wait a minute. Was was his axe the one over at the water tower? Oh my god, what the fuck is this, yo? Okay, wait a minute. Was his axe the one over at the water tower? This bitch sabotaging the town? Why he say, oh, I lost it? Like that. Why he say it like that? Seems a little suspicious, no? Here we go. At the bottom of the screen are the blocks of color. Each color has a letter assigned to it. On the left side of the screen are three color blocks. To progress, you must press and hold the keys that coincide with these colors. What? E A S? Bro, oh, those are the weirdest. Let me. I need to see this. I, I'm sure I don't understand what the fuck. What the fuck I just saw, bro? I, it better tell me the keys, right? Q, E. Oh wait. W, A. Wait, Q. What the fuck, yo? Am I supposed to be pushing those ones to the bottom? Q. E. I think you're supposed to hold it, maybe. I'm not doing anything. I'm holding that. Am I idiotic, bro? Oh, you're supposed to hold it. You're supposed to hold all three. You got it, Blake. Oh no, he cheered me on. But okay, wait. I got. I got to see what the blue is. W. A. What's green? E. Okay, what's red? I don't know why they're doing that with the bottom on the, like, the colors on the bottom like that. It's fucking annoying, right? I just need to know what the, what the letters are. Okay, y'all know me. I got a mean chainsaw that ass game. Timber! Yes! That was fantastic! This guy oh, hyped, wow. bro. This may be the best thing I've ever bought. <laughs> yes! He didn't even use it. I okay. used it. Well done, Blake. You can use this anytime, my friend. A lot of racket out there. <laughs> Myra, did you see it? It was magnificent. Ah, uh, you just can't see the beauty in it. True. But unlike others, at least some people can see the beauty in me. Just wanted to let you know the electricity <laughs> is up and running now. I noticed it was down. I just used the Andrews electricity next door instead. They're not due back for another three months. Off enjoying a warmer winter somewhere else. <laughs> I don't blame them. Right. I best be off. Thank you for a lovely day, Shane. Myra, I'll see you soon. Okay, buddy. See you real soon. Bye, Blake. Come visit us more often. I remember how dark it felt that night. I've never been a lover of the dark, but that night, something really didn't feel right. Oh, no, bitch. Hello? Oh, do -do. As I was walking, someone aimed a flashlight in my face. 
Why did what it make that? that? Why did it make that noise? It sounds like a fucking flare. Oh, that was Orange Coat McGee. He's signaling me. I didn't know who that man was. And when you live in a small community deep in the final frontier, it's frightening to bump into someone you never have before. Was that the man who I saw running towards the water tower on a Monday? Absolutely. Whoever it was, he didn't feel friendly. Okay, well we need to alert the down feet, but we need to go hunt this uh, this orange coated bitch down, bro. Are we gonna make it back in one piece? Is he still out there fishing? Look at the sky, As I bro. Edged towards home, I still couldn't shake what had just happened. I felt like that man was still watching me, that he was following me, right behind me, peering through the trees. I mean, he probably is. What am I gonna do? I don't see nobody behind me or nothing. I, I could see the house in the distance, yet still that feeling followed me. And as I got closer, I never would have guessed what I was about to find at the house. What, is it going to be some kind of dead body or something? What am I about to find, Don't go. A little bit concerned, Bo. Something's about to happen that's going to turn my world upside down in this little small Alaskan town. Huh? My window's been smashed. The window was smashed. This son of a bitch! I had to go inside and see. What the hell is that? But it was like a spiritual trail going on there. I know why your I wife. I know why your wife really left. Huh? What? Why? Wait, what? I don't even know that. What? Oh, somebody scheming. Wait, 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 am I not I the- I was awakened that Friday, deep in the night, to the loud creak of my front door opening. I was startled, but no one came in. So I went you. outside. Who are you? There Did he you is. you smash my window? Come back here! <laughs> I saw that man again, running from my house. I chased him, shouting as I ran. Did you break my window? What? Why'd I say it like that? When I finally made it to the open space of the airstrip, <sighs> the man had completely disappeared. Wait, actually, the where'd he go? Who was that last night? I wonder if anyone else has seen this man walking around. I should go talk to Kenneth and Ellie McWilliams. They have always been our local neighborhood watch. I'm gonna go talk to the neighborhood watch in rural Alaska. That's kooky crazy, Bo. <laughs> I haven't been in the bedroom since my wife left me two months ago. I just can't. I haven't been in the bed? Where do I sleep? On the couch? Okay, now that's psychotic, bro. I, wait, are they gonna make me wear on? I wait. didn't sleep for the rest of that night. I just couldn't. I felt so uneasy after the events that had occurred. I decided to go see Kenneth McWilliams. He Bro. was the definition of neighborhood watch for Silka. If anything was out of the ordinary, I was sure he would have noticed it. They're not serious. Look where that's at. It's right back where I was a second ago! As I approached the bridge crossing the river, I oh. saw Marcus looking deep in thought. Hey, yo, Mark, 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 hey! What's up with you, gang? What you thinking about? You up for another fishing session? Actually, I'm on my way to the McWilliams. Why? Uh, have you seen anything strange lately? Like, seen anyone who shouldn't be here? Hmm. Well, you didn't come out of your house for a while. Do you count? <laughs> Funny. Okay, okay. I see you're serious. I haven't seen anyone around. But going to the McWilliams would be where I would start, too. Say, I know a shortcut to the other side of town, up the river. Get in the boat, and I'll take you there. Thank you, oh. Marcus. Now that's huge! Did y'all see that bitch's mouth when it kind of went, Whoa! It's just beautiful, isn't it? This place. I come to this river every day. Didn't he say that last just time we got in here? The beauty. Didn't he say that last time we the were in here? The town doesn't even need fish today. Or my bug I come here anyway, just to relax. Am I ever need to get away? Don't hesitate to take the boat out, Blake. It really does help. Thank you, Marcus. So what of this seeing someone strange? Do you recognize them? I want to say no, but there is something oddly familiar about this person. Someone threw a brick from my window as well with a note wrapped around it. A note? Yeah, it read, I know why your wife really left. Wow, that's deep. Probably just someone trying to scare you. I know, it's just so unsettling. I understand. Right, we're here. Go talk to Ellie and Kenneth. If there's anything out of the ordinary going on, they would have noticed it. 
Okay, so we're gonna come over here and talk to the McWilliams, who apparently run the neighborhood watch. This was not faster at all. Okay, for the record, is this? They better not fuck around with me, bro. They better not fuck around with me. Act like this frozen lake gonna get bust. Across the frozen lake, the only lake in the area which is thoroughly solid all year round. Quite often, members of our community go skating on it. I though have never been very good at skating. I'm quite happy having both my feet firmly on the ground. I mean, they are, I guess not firmly though, right? I could definitely carve up an ice sheet. Come on now, bo. Uh, Y'all see me doing a triple 360 backflip on that ass, bo. Not a game to me. This is a long fucking walk. So they live the far right, looks like. Oh, right there. The fuck's that red thing? They better give me a snow machine. I ain't got time to keep doing all this shit, bo. Oh my God, does that guy have shoulder blades? Wait a minute. Oh my God. Is that man okay? Kenneth, how are you? Blake, my boy. I thought it was you I saw the other day playing around with Shane's new chainsaw. It's so good to see you out and about again. How are you keeping up? I am definitely getting there, Ken. Sorry it's been so long. I just needed to clear my head for a while. Understood, son. Understood. Say, Ken, have you seen anything odd lately? Or anyone odd? Not that I can say of, Blake. Why, what's happening? What have you seen? I'm not sure, really. It might be my mind playing tricks on me. Just think I keep seeing someone in the distance that isn't from here. Sounds like you need more time to clear your head, my boy. I don't know what you've seen, but me and Ellie will keep an eye out. Say, could you do us a little favor? Of course, Ken. What is it? Our fire has died out, and we have run out of the necessary ingredients to start the fire. <laughs> you couldn't find us some logs, kindling, and some matches, could you? The Andrews next door said we could have any logs they'd left behind while they were away. Shane has always let us have any spare kindling wood from his chopping, and I'm sure there are matches actually in the Andrews house, if I recall. You don't mind, do you, son? Of course not. I'll be back in a moment to relight your fire. Thank you, Blake. Why he talk like that, bo? Why he talk like that? This motherfucker might be the killer on guard. He seems pretty. Although Ken couldn't help me with my problem, I'm glad I could help him and Ellie with theirs. Logs, kindling, and matches. I was surprised Ken didn't have any of these in stock. It does seem a little bizarre, doesn't it? To live in rural Alaska in the middle of winter and not have any logs. I found the logs at the back of the Andrews property. Okay, so I, I think I took one? Okay, I, I've got one log. I've got one log. Now I need to get some matches. Apparently those are on the inside. Am I about to find them dead? Oh, there's the match. I found the matches inside the Andrews property. I'm just gonna have me a look around. Yo, this place abandoned, bro. There ain't nothing in here. They ain't coming back. Those motherfuckers left that get dolls, bitch. Is that a wood chipper or what the fuck is that? Oh no, it is a snow machine. He better let me use that shit. Oh wow, what the fuck? Oh damn. Oh Blake, thank you so much for helping us out. Could you put the items in the fireplace, son, and set it alight? Yeah, of course, of course, old man, no worries. Bop, got you. Brilliant, my boy. You've saved us poor oldies from freezing to death. She looks scared. We will have to have you over for dinner to thank you. That would be lovely. But of course, it was my pleasure to help you two out. Well, thank you anyway, Blake. And about your little issue, like I said, we'll keep an eye out on everything and everyone around Silka. Make sure there's no one out of the ordinary. We'll let you know if we see anything. Thank you both. I shall leave you to the warmth. Man, blink three times if you're being held hostage. Hello, Blake. I thought I saw you going in the McWilliams. Oh, <laughs> hi, Mara. You okay? I am now. I've seen you. Hey, I'm about to go ice skating. I've got a spare pair of skates if you want to join me. I don't know. Go on, Blake. It'll be fun. I'll be good. Oh, okay. Great. I shall meet you over by the frozen lake when you're ready. <laughs> Let's go do his little skating, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Myra can be very persuasive. As I made my way up the path towards the frozen lake, 
I could feel the nerves rising. Some sweat started dripping from my brow. And that doesn't happen often in this frozen wasteland. I think we all know what's going to be the uh, the climax <laughs> of this story. Okay, we about to get into a brawl with Shane, motherfucking ass. Oh, wait. This bitch set up a course, gang. <laughs> I thought... I thought the map didn't render in. But it is. You set up a course. This bitch testing me. Oh, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Okay, so what are we about to Blake, see here? fantastic. You made it. Here's the skates. Now, do you remember how to do this? I may be a little rusty. That's fine. Let's go through this together. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm about to get into the tutorial. Yes, sir. <laughs> Move the skates around the course. W-A-S-D. Timer displays Myra's time. You must beat it. Avoid cutting blades. Damn you, Myra. What does that mean, cutting blades? Start. What the? Bosiah. Oh, these graphics crazy, gang. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there's a death trap. Wait a minute, there's a death trap for Cereos. What is that? Oh! No, try again. What the fuck? Gang. Wait, when, when they said cutting blades, that was literally a saw blade. Oh, this is game of the year for Cereos. Oh, of that, I have no doubt. This game can be worth a million dollars and I'd pay it. Here we go, bring it around town. Wait, the course changed. Wait, is this thing randomly generated? That's cuckoo crazy, bro. I'm fuck. I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. They all go up at the same time, you son of a bitch. I can make it. Yes, bitch! Okay. All right, now it's GG. Now it's GG. I'm not, I'm not here to conversate no more, bro. I'm not here to conversate no more. Okay, all right. Yes. Damn, why'd she say it like that? Come on, now. Okay, here we go. Keep with it. Keep with it. Dom looks tilted. Crazy observation, bro. <laughs> That's a crazy observation. I ain't fucking with it. Look at how much time I had. Move. I can make it all the way. Please! Thank you. I got one minute to make it around, but my dog shit at the skate game, bro. I cannot believe she got me skating, and I cannot believe this is the animation for the skates. <laughs> this skating animation go crazy. Okay, here we go. Nah, I ain't gonna test it. Move. Huge. Why did she stick the saws in? How did she stick the saws in? The bitch almost tipped me over. No, what? What the fuck? I know they lying. I know they fucking lie. I know they fucking lying. Are they serious? They're dead ass. They're dead ass. Oh my god, two minutes of my life, I'm never gonna get back. Bro, they're not. Oh my god. Look at this shit, I'm waiting. Please, do not chop me. Thank you. Okay, this shit is not a game to me, folks. Oh no. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, okay, all right. Bitch, that this motherfucker ain't shit, bro. That was fantastic, Blake. You really looked amazing out there. <laughs> well, it just all came back to me. You really are handsome. You know that? Oh! Uh -oh. We're in trouble. No, Myra, there is nothing here. Go and make up with your husband, please. This community is too small to have enemies. Oh, Blake, you ruin all the fun, don't you? Fine. I'll go talk to him. He'll be fine. This was all just a misunderstanding, right? Ah, oh, see you soon, Myra. That's 
That's fucking crazy. I didn't even get the hit. Oh, oh my God, motherfucker. That was literally the worst outcome possible. I didn't even get the hit, but he's still mad as fuck like I did. Bo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Scam. On the door on Sunday. That door just made me feel nervous now. At least someone knocked this time. Bo, if he, if he, if he, if he, if he, if, if, if we got any kind of drama, I got actually straight up, straight up scammed. Stick him up. No, please don't shoot. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, Blake, I'm so glad you're out and about again. I love hanging out with you. That laugh was Wait, not. I have a plan for today. Was not friendly. Hunting. Not fishing? Oh, no. We can't fish every day, my friend, or there'll be no fish left. No. Today, we're going real hunting. I woke up early today and I saw a deer wander past our houses. That right? We've got to go get it. I want a proper meal. Sounds good to me, Marcus. Did you see where it went? I'm not too sure. I know it's on this side of the river, but that's it. Have an idea, though. I'll take this side of the airstrip. You take the other side. I'll Making take the far away side. Further, eh? uh -huh. Come on. You haven't left your house for weeks. I'm doing you a favor. You're getting chubby, Blake. Ooh, harsh. Okay, I'll take the other side. <laughs> Bo, hunting with the Draco go crazy. The deer is hiding in the forest. Find it, aim, and shoot it. But don't get too close or it will run away. Controls for shooting. Okay, right. So I'm about to pepper that bitch, Bo. I'm, 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 I'm going full auto on that ass. I'm a little bit worried about what I'm going to learn with Shane, Bo. I feel like I, I haven't I... been out hunting for a long time. It felt good to feel that rifle in my hands again. As I made my way up the path, there was. I saw the deer. Though it must have heard me as it ran into the forest. I heard a deer's cry echo around me. It sounded like the deer had been hurt. What? How? How the fuck I get in there, bro? These trees made out of adamantium, bro, Sire. I hear that bitch moaning. Oh! I found the deer in a bear trap. It was still alive. Before I could even contemplate on how the bear trap had gotten there, I had to put the deer out of its misery. Understood. What the fuck that been made out of? Yes! Great shot, Blake. Oh. Mm, what a feeling. The great outdoors. The smell of victory. We need to celebrate. This guy Won't weird, eating bro. eating it be victory <laughs> enough? This guy no, weird, far bro. Far from it, my friend. Besides, I want to celebrate the fact that you're back with us. My friend Blake has come out of hiding, and I want the world to know it. <laughs> and how do you plan on us doing that? Fireworks. You have some? Oh, yes. I was saving them for the 4th of July, but I see this event is just as big. Maybe bigger. <laughs> Maybe. Right. Meet me outside my house in five. I'll have the fireworks on the porch ready for setting up. Wait. This... This shit going crazy. <laughs> Fireworks. Marcus really was happy I was leaving the house again. Must not want me to go back into hiding. Uh oh, let's see what's popping here, yo. He looked mad, don't here he? Here we are then. Oh, One no. box each. Now, placement. I think we need some on both sides of the river. There's a field on both sides. I'll take the other side of the river, you take this side. These are remote censored, so after you've set them up, both meet on the bridge. Then we'll set them off together. Perfect! Any questions? No <laughs> questions here. <laughs> then let's go. Why did he say perfect like that, Bo? Why did he say perfect? I didn't respond. He said perfect. Like, like he knew he came up with the best plan of all time. I'll kill him. I swear to you, I'll kill him. No, oh. nothing happened. Nothing will happen. I've seen how he looks at you, how he looks at my wife. We don't even see him that often. I bet he does this in every town he lands in. What? He doesn't deliver mail. He delivers divorce papers. Are they talking about Mason? Ma are they serious, bro? Who the fuck is Mason, first of all? <laughs> Second of all, they ain't- I, I deliver the mail, you stupid fuck! Bo, oh, my character dumber than a box of rocks, bro. I couldn't believe what I had seen. Were they really arguing about Mason? Myra and the mailman? Surely not, I thought. I had to get back to setting up the fireworks. Marcus would be finished soon. Am I actually stupid? Yo, on golf is serious. What the fuck was that, bro? They need to quit with those sound effects. Am I actually idiotic? That's crazy, bro. Obviously, they talk about me. 
Okay, so my guy, my guy, my guy is a character and a half. Why are you doing that noise? I feel like I'm watching that um, Last Samurai or some shit. Hey, wait a minute. Let's get over here. Put down the last set of works. Correct, funny yo. Shockingly oblivious. I'm about to get carved up. That's just a lot. It didn't, it didn't give me a new objective, so I was just trying to. Oh, go back to the bridge now. Right, 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 right. Okay. Oh, look. Somebody else up there, too. When Who's I arrived that? at the bridge, oh. I could see Marcus had managed to invite everyone before I'd finished setting up my fireworks. It was a lovely sight to see. Hey, yo, what's good, gang? Everybody ready for the fireworks? Set them shits off. Not the big red button, Bo. Damn. Um, oh, this guy went all out on the firework game. My first week back outside had been amazing. Everyone was so happy to have me back, and I really hadn't thought too much about my wife. Next one. Watching those fireworks with everyone was magical. It was such a special feeling getting everyone there. There's two people missing. But little did we all know, this would be the last night we would all spend together. Uh-oh. What's that mean? <laughs> Wait a minute, what's that mean? Monday. Grabbing the K. Grabbing the K, can't grab the K. Why can't I grab the K? Let me look out the front window before I open it. <laughs> Just in case there's something out there I should be aware of. I didn't get any pop-up. I haven't that been in the bedroom since my wife left me two months ago. This is going to the airstrip apparently. Why am I going to the airstrip? I'm sure I don't know. A storm had hit Silk. Is it the morning? Oh. With the wind so loud, I couldn't hear if Mason's plane had landed or not. I decided to head down wait. towards the airstrip to see. Wait, 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 do you think? Wait a minute. Do you? I don't see Mason, bro. Huh? Look I at that mother. Mystery man again. Whoa. Mason's plane was indeed at the airstrip, but I saw that man again. When he heard me coming down the path, he ran away from the plane like a deer Mason. running from a predator. Mason! Oh my... Did that man do this? Was that... Was that Shane? Was there a murderer in our community? Oh, Mason. I must warn the others. Oh my god! He got chopped in fucking half, gang! Oh... Maybe they were actually talking about Mason. Bo! Wait! Wait! So she not hot on me. She just hot on anybody but her husband. That's cuckoo crazy, Bo. Wait, what the fuck? When did these bushes get put up? Oh, it's a tree deadfall. All right, okay, so I gotta go around, Bo. <gasps> okay! Wait. So... So Shane, Shane going crazy, Bo. He didn't even use his chainsaw. Why would he buy the chainsaw if he wasn't going to use the chainsaw for the murder? That would have been way easier. That would have been significantly easier than chopping him up with an axe. Mason won't ever be full again. Oh. I have to tell the others what I had found. There was a predator in town, and he could be coming for any one of us next. I decided to try the Riggs household first. Try? Are they not here? Where are they? Hello? Anna, Marcus. Wait, that's crazy that my voice was staying over by the. Um... <laughs> that's crazy that the uh, that my voice was staying over to the side. They ain't down here. Where could they be? Maybe they're on the other side of town. I'll go back and grab my rifle first, and then head that way. The McWilliams have a phone. We can call the police from there. Why not grab my rifle to begin with? Oh yeah, this shit about to be potentially past the Riggs household a shootout again, towards my house. I remember looking at the house as I went past. There was still no sign of them. Yeah, they definitely ain't there. Why didn't I stop and get my rifle to begin with? I really feel like that would have been the smartest move. And honestly, we live in Alaska anyway, bitch. You never know when you might come across a grizzly. It might need to, uh, you know, pop a couple of bullets in a bitch. You know what I'm saying? There it is. Give me that. Okay. Wait a now minute. I had my rifle and was going back past the Riggs house again. 
This time the door was open. They must be back, I thought. But as I went in, there was only one person who was back. Uh-oh. Huh? What happened? Jada, are you okay? Go away, get away from me. J Jada, where's mommy and daddy? Go away, I tell you. Jada. Is she Let's British? Go find them, Jada. Leave me alone. What? Why is the door closed? What am I doing? What is happening? Am I gonna play her a song? Ooh, this seems a little suspicious. What am I doing? Not me trying to tantalize a child. What's going on? What the fuck is happening? I feel like I shouldn't be a part of this. I I didn't pick an option for this to be a thing. I don't know what's happening. How am I playing that like that, Bo? Little girl, will you listen to me? We've been nestled here since 1973 And we're not planning on going away where we've left our hearts, our hearts will stay. So little girl, just sing this sweet song. Whenever you think that the whole world is wrong. Or you believe that everyone's gone. You're not alone, child, so just be strong. And... Follow me, follow me, out of the air that you breathe. Stand by me, I guarantee, I'll be the oxygen that you need. Hold my hand and understand, I'll be your eyes, so let me see. I'll be anything you need me to be, just follow me. <sighs> Let's go, Jada. Yo, 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 aside from the pedo vibes, that went off. <laughs> yo, yo, I play that on the radio, swear to the gods, bro. Yo, 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 I would play that on the radio, swear to the gods. Yo, that was a big W. Yo, listen, it started pedo -y, but honestly, it was good enough in the end. It was like, what's this? We found blood outside Jada's house going towards the river. I didn't say out loud what it was, but I knew. Wait a minute, bro. That, I mean, that, that was mean pedo vibes at the beginning, but on God, on God, on God, if your artistic talent is good enough, let me stop talking. <laughs> Yo, that song went off though, gang. I'm serious. Oh, shit. Bo, that's crazy. I held Jade tightly as we walked. I didn't want to run. She must have been quite startled. I remember thinking, nothing happens in Silka. But now, I can't say that. Damn, but now see, all I'm saying is if EDP was playing a song like that, would we have been a little bit more, uh, 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 would we have been less of haters, bro? Would we have been less of haters? I don't know. Think about it, you know? Because that song kind of went off, okay? It would take the boat down to the other <laughs> side stop. of town. It would be stop. quicker. <laughs> I know, I know you ain't talking to me, Titan Talker, bro. <laughs> Yo, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know Titan Talker ain't talking to me, funny, bro. I, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's, let's get in the boat and move. Let's get in the boat and move. Wait, wait, how are you getting in? Oh, here we go. Everything's going to be okay, Jada. We'll find them. Everyone will Oh, he's playing okay. a song in the background. That's cuckoo. Follow me up the air that you breathe. I concentrated on that song during our walk. That and holding Jada were the only thing keeping me from losing my mind at that point. Now, wait a minute. Was that like a song he had pre-written? Or are we supposed to have come up with that on the spot? Because if we came with that on the spot, that's cuckoo crazy. If that was a song that I had rehearsed, I got to ask why. Okay? <laughs> I got to ask why. Let's assume option one. Okay, maybe maybe, maybe my guy really just is that high IQ. I mean, he did, after all, have a good call out on Mason. You know, in the end, he did have a good call out on Mason. So maybe this guy just high IQ and, you know, we just, you know, don't have the full story. But, you know. I don't know. Seems a little odd. The McWilliams house looked so inviting in the distance. I noticed the blood trailed off towards the Andrews house, but I decided to carry on taking Jada to the McWilliams anyway. There, Ken could call the police. Ellie could look after Jada while I investigate the blood. Okay, right. Wait, this guy. This guy's just standing in the window. He doesn't see the blood trail. He should have already called the police. Also, 
are you calling the police out here? But what the pol the police coming in on a fucking uh, Cessna? The fuck? Oh my, this is a surprise. What are you two doing here? Have you seen Anna and Marcus? No, no, they haven't come by since last week. What's happened, my boy? We need to call the police. Something bad is happening here in Silka. I just found, I I I just found Mason dead on the airstrip. Oh my, I. I'll get on to the police right away, but they'll take a while to get here. Yeah, damn you know, right they will. That's why I'm gonna have a look around. We need to make sure Marcus and Anna are okay. Can Jada stay with you while I look? Of course, of course. We'll take care of her while you have a look. But be careful, my boy. We don't know who's out there. This guy got a mean my boy game when it's highly unnecessary. Okay, here we go. Okay, you know, just take care. That's it. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. <laughs> calling from Silka. We have a little incident developing. Why his head look like that, Mo? Well, Looks like it's fused together. Has been murdered. Could you get someone here as soon as possible, please? Wait. Yes, yes, I know. Okay. That ain't him, they lying. That ain't her, they lying. She still look like she might need the police too, Mo. Look, oh, that's a, that's a, okay, this game crazy, bro. <laughs> All right, let's get our ass out of here. Let's go, let's go finish this shit, bro. Let's go finish this shit. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's pop. I kind of want to play back the As song, I'm not going to lie. Blood trail, I felt a feeling of dread. I, I was scared. Okay, let's see what's popping. Why don't I have my gun on? I feel like I should have the K out, question mark. The blood led straight into the Andrews household, then into the back room where... I found. Okay, well, I'm trying to. I'm just. I'm just trying to peep the corners, bro. Move. No. What? No. no. What the fuck? <gasps> Jada. Double. Jada. What the fuck? Jada. Why are they dead? What? Oh, I wonder if he went to the Clarks. Oh no, Shane! Wait, why? What? But why would they kill those two? That makes less than no sense. Unless they had some kind of like weird swinging thing going. You know what? You know what? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't count that out, Bo. Why? Why would they? That make no goddamn sense. Not a lick. That make no god. There was something telling me that is what I was going to find in there that I did not want her to see. I remember thinking, if this is Shane's doing, I hope that I could make it to Jada and Myra before anything else could happen. Okay, let's get in here, Bo, and see. Hello? Shane? Myra? Jada? Why don't I have the K out? Nobody's in here, gang. I made my way upstairs. No one was in there, so I decided to go out on the balcony hoping that would act as a vantage point for me. Okay. Ah, help! Help! Ah, help! Stop, Shane! Oh. Let Myra go. It's kind of a hard we shot to miss. Through this. If you don't let her go, Shane, I'm going to have no other choice. It's a, it's a freeze frame. <laughs> Had to do it, gang. Had to do it, gang! Had to do it! How'd she die? The fucky? Or maybe... These graphics crazy. <laughs> These graphics crazy, bro. I couldn't believe what had just happened. Had I just shot Shane? I had to. I hoped Mara was okay as I made my way out of the house. How come she's not moving? Where'd he go? No. No. Myra. Myra. I, I shot him. I know I shot him. Where are you? Shane, what have you done? What? I dome that motherfucker. I dome that motherfucker. What are they talking about? Wait. I was so sure I had shot him, not her. Where could he have gone? Does he have Jada? I had to go back to Ken and Ellie to warn them to get out of Silka. Bosiah? What the hecky? 
This is certified what the hecky, bro. Have you got Jada? No, she ran off. Oh dear. Sorry, Blake. She just shot out of the house and ran after you. Do you say she ran off? Did she find you then? She did, but I had unfortunately found her parents as she walked in. They... They were dead, Ken. Oh no. The police are on their way. But what are we going to do until they get here, old boy? <sighs> old boy? Can you still <laughs> drive the snowmobile? I haven't for a while, but yes, of course. Drive to the mail plane. We don't know how long the police are gonna be. I think we need to get out of town. We'll fly the plane out. Same question coming at you, Blake. Can you still drive a plane? I'd never forget that. You two go ahead on the snowmobile. I need to find Jada before we leave. Okay, dear boy. Let's go then. <laughs> and Ken, Ellie, <clears throat> try not to look at the bodies on the way past. That's crazy, bro. They, they, when they were writing the script for this guy, they literally gave him the one personality trait. <sighs> Say my boy to everybody. That scream came from exclusively the for Jada. for no reason, bro. <laughs> Just, just, just say it in every sentence if possible. That blood-curdling scream came from the frozen lake, and to me, it sounded like a little girl scream. I ran so fast in that direction. I hoped I wasn't too late. Okay, here we go. As I reached the frozen lake, I couldn't see anyone on the ice. No Shane, no Jada, but I could hear a faint banging. What is that? I Where? Thought. It got louder as I made my way across the lake. But what was making that noise? Motherfucker. Gang, it's the ice. Uh-oh. Get off! Wait, is it under the ice? Where am I hearing that at? Oh my god. No. That moment was the worst moment of my life. More severe than my wife leaving me. My little Jada, her lifeless body under the ice. The only other feeling more apparent in that moment was the feeling that I was going to find Shane and I was going to murder him myself. He had to be stopped. There was going to be no one left here. I went through the trees towards the river. What? Why is he going on a murder? Why would he kill the little girl? Okay, maybe the parents were swinging. Maybe. Okay, and that seems like a long shot anyway. <laughs> but listen, if they were, they should have sent me pics. Anyway. Oh, here we go. What the fuck is this? Ray. Blake. Uh -huh. What? Who did I just stab? Shane. So sorry, I, I fought. I stabbed them, my boy. The killer. I stabbed them, my boy guy. Who are you? I stabbed them, my boy guy, bro. I stab, I stabbed Baldy. I had killed Shane, but he wasn't the one who's been killing everyone. I, I couldn't breathe at that moment. I had to catch up with this man and find out who he is once and for all. Wait. Oh no, so I did kill Shane. I thought I killed the old man. Hold up! So it wasn't Shane. What? Wait. I think y'all might actually be right. I am the killer! But... But how and wh Oh my fucking wow, bitch. That's what it was. When that motherfucker threw the brick through my window... And it said, I know why your wife really left. Bitch, she ain't left. She under the lake. And that bitch was going to expose us. So we going on a killing spree to stop every motherfucker from exposing me. That's my theory. An Alaskan theory. Where am I going? What the? I bomb they ass. I gotta get back to the house and wait for the police. I can't, I can't deal with this. 
Ball. I was hoping the McWilliams had made it to the plane already, so I could warn them of what is happening. But as I made my way towards the plane, it just... blew up. Correct. I knew I had to make it to my house and hide, as I now was the only one left in Silka. Bruh. Bruh. This storyline go cuckoo crazy. Wait a minute. Open that. Why is it open all slow? And then I made it home, and here I am, telling you the story. Blake, that is what your mind has made you see. You know this is just a story your imagination has made up to protect you from the truth. What really happened that day? I... I... Blake, we can't help you if you don't tell us the truth. I... I killed them all. I remember. Everything was going so well that first week, but... I think because I had isolated myself for so long, the damage was already done. The axe I found at the water tower, I still had it. I remember picking it up that morning and just wanted to use it. But not on wood, on bone. I did hear Mason's plane land that morning, so sadly for him, he was going to be my first victim that day. As I marched down the path towards the airstrip, no other thoughts filled my head but the one of hurting people. I wanted people to feel my pain that I had endured. I wanted everyone to feel it. When I got to Mason, he looked shocked, scared, exactly what I wanted. And as I plowed that axe into his skull, I could feel a part of the pain disappear. I wanted more. I still had the fireworks from the night before. I hadn't planted them all. I set them up against Mason's plane in a ploy to gather people there to blow it up and everyone else with it. That didn't go exactly according to plan though. When I got to Marcus's house, I tried to convince him and Anna to come with me to the plane, but they wouldn't. I got angry and grabbed the closest thing I could hurt them with, the guitar. I was going to make them follow me. I smashed it against Marcus's bald head and then took one of the guitar strings and strangled Anna with it. With every death, I was feeling so much better, but I still wasn't satisfied. Once the light had left their eyes, I decided against taking them to the plane. I thought the explosion might be heard from the other side of town. I didn't want to warn anybody that a storm was coming their way. I dragged their lifeless bodies down towards the river. After witnessing such an horrific scene, I couldn't convince Jada to come with me, so I picked her up and forced her to follow. I had set the boat up already. Both Marcus and Anna were there, laid out, like luggage, ready for the voyage. Bruh. I put Jada in the boat and rowed down the river towards the other side of Silka. I left Jada with the McWilliams, just like I told you. But of course, it wasn't so I could go investigate the blood. The blood trails were being created by me. I wanted to take Marcus and Anna's body to the Andrews property, 
I knew the Andrews would be back in a few weeks, and I wanted to leave them a little surprise, as the plan was for me to be far away from Silka by then. As I was hanging their bodies up on meat hooks though, Jada must have followed me. She witnessed further onslaught as I was hanging them. I turned around and tried to chase her, but she was gone by the time I was out the house. I knew which direction she would be going in though, back towards the boat. It wouldn't have been a hardship to catch up with a little girl, so I decided to finish my plan first. I went to the clerk's house to take out Myra and Shane. I couldn't find Shane, but I think Myra was hiding. I looked round the house, couldn't find her, but when I made my way out onto the balcony, she made a run for it. I shot her, not by accident like I said. I met that bullet. I ran back to the McWilliams next, told them to get to the plane, and then went to find Jada. I found her quickly. She was struggling on the ice. I had created a hole in the ice when I was ice skating last week. I grabbed Jada and threw her into the hole into the ice cold water. I watched her struggle for a bit, then held her head under the water until she struggled no more. I was lucky with Shane. I found him by the river as I was making my way back towards the plane. I stabbed him and moved on. Damn, what an ungraceful ass death. As for the McWilliams, the finale was prepared earlier for this moment. I got a comfortable distance from the plane, then pressed that trigger, and I blew that plane up, and blew the McWilliams up with it. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> and then, I then made my way back home, and, <sighs> this isn't real, is it? The police aren't even here yet. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, I killed them all. Why? What? what have I done? Oh, darling. Did this all start oh. when you left me? Did she in there, me? bro. I just can't. What have I? <sighs> Yeah, but here it is. Only I could smell your glorious scent one last time. Oh, Shona, Shona. Oh. What? Not you too. Not you too. Oh, what have I become? I'm so sorry. That's crazy. That's a stock PNG on top of another bed frame, bro. I'm so, so <laughs> Let me quit. Sorry. <laughs> Look, you can see where it's not merged good. Let me stop. Bo Sire. Bo Sire.
Oh, Sire! That is one of, listen to me, one of, one of, one of the best games ever fucking made, gang! Bo, come on now. Come on now! I know none of you motherfuckers expected that shit now! Holy shit! That was like simultaneously the worst game of all time and the best game of all time. And that shit makes me go, go! Let me stop, bro. That's crazy. That was so fucking good. Thank you for playing and supporting an indie developer. See, now, if other people made games like that, I would I would not be shit talking all of the dog shit ass games we play. Okay, because this guy, like, even though he didn't have, like, the best graphical skills or whatever the f like, he still had a good story, okay? He still, like, figured out how to do everything that he needed to and did it really, really well yeah i mean that was loki i'm a big fan of that shit but even though literally not a single time in the entire game did like anybody actually move okay even though during the skating scene it was literally just skates and nothing else even though the cutscenes had the worst moving lips of all time that's loki one of the best hidden gems i've ever come across